These buyers are some special people and all I got to say is they're coming. And I'm going to tell you all about why I'm saying that on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And as I said on the other side, these buyers are coming. And what am I talking about? Well, talking about the buyers that decide to wait until the very last moment. And, and really, in my mind, anything within two weeks of Christmas is kind of cutting it too close. And those buyers, most will be successful in getting their gift for whomever they're buying it for and others will not be so successful and guess what a lot of us sellers maybe even you are going to hear from them as if you destroyed their christmas and they're going to treat you like a like a mortal enemy as if you did this to them to sabotage them now in my particular case you guys who were on the live stream on monday i hinted to what was going on with this uh, I had a buyer who bought a DVD from me back on, I think it was Tuesday night. I mailed, and that was the 13th. I mailed this thing out the next day on the 14th. Okay, that's on Wednesday morning. And this person was following the tracking. Then they paid $2 plus shipping. It was, And I should have known this when I saw the total. I should have canceled the order the moment I saw the total it was $6.66. That should have told me everything I needed to know, but I'm not that kind of a person where I'm just going to freak out over a, a dollar amount or something stupid like that. So it is what it is. We shipped it out, okay? Now come Friday, they contacted me and I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. But you guys just have to know that these buyers are coming. They don't get what they ask for and they're coming. They're coming after you. And I wanna show you the correspondence and I'll let you decide. Now, I'll just say this with a caveat. Many of you would say you gave this person too much time. Some will even go as far as saying you should have given his money back and just gotten rid of the problem. But you know what? If you're that seller, that's the wrong mentality. But let me go to the, the emails here or the message messages that uh, went back and forth between the buyer and myself. And then I'll talk to you more about that on the other side. So as you can see, the first message I received was actually Friday afternoon. Um, the message states, hello, where did you send my package? I live in Henderson, 20 minutes drive from you. Uh, why is my movie in Los Angeles, California? We live in the same state and city basically. So this was sent by media mail. And for whatever reason, I don't know, it's out of my control, but it was shipped uh, to, a, you know, to LA. So I reply back within minutes, you can see it's 2.10 PM. We shipped this item to the address you gave us in Henderson. As crazy as it sounds, the postal service won't ship it directly to you before first being sent to a sorting facility. Why it was sent to Los Angeles first, Something I can't answer. Unfortunately, it's beyond our control once we hand over the package to the post office. I can assure you that we only ship to the address that is provided to us. So uh, again, I, I believe in giving good customer service and giving an explanation whenever something in the buyer's mind goes awry, right? So I received about a few minutes later, so it's 2.54. I worked for the post office in Boulder City it should have went to the main sorting office on Sunset across from the airport. I have no idea why it went to Los Angeles. There is no way it'll be here today, Friday the 16th. Can you contact the post office to find it? Because last time this happened, the post office lost my movie and I never got it. I'm not mad or anything. I know once you ship it, it's the post office job to deliver it, but they're extremely lazy and careful with packages. They legit throw packages into bins 10 to 20 feet away when sorting and the city offices. It's why I quit. They're very lazy, unprofessional, and damage packages all the time and label it receive damage to, to not be responsible. I don't know, being the seller, if you can locate it better than I could. Now, he's being reasonable at this particular time, okay? 
Now he's upset. He wants what he wants. These are what buyers do. They want what they want, and they get un they, they become unrational. Okay, so or ir irrational for that matter. So in this particular case, I respond. The only thing that I can do is file a lost mail search online. However, from my experience, they only give you that option if a certain number of days has gone by since last update, which was today. We're talking two days after I mailed the package, guys. It is in transit and based on your own experience, nobody will do anything to help unless the package is lost. I hear your frustration and I don't like it either. We do our part to get these out in a timely manner and we rely entirely on the USPS to do their job and it seems they didn't do it in this case. Okay, so again, I'm giving them a reasonable reply. Uh, I haven't been unprofessional. Uh, I'm uh, using a little empathy here to, uh, to let them know, hey, look, I'm upset as well about this. Okay, thanks. If it's not here by delivery date, I'll file a lost package on it. Thanks for your help. Okay, that was later that evening. Now, fast forward to Sunday. There's, what, mail on Saturday. He probably didn't get it on Saturday. Well, he didn't get it on Saturday. And then uh, Sunday, this package went to Seattle now. It's obviously not going to be here on time or not even make it to me. Uh, it went the opposite direction. Can you just cancel this and refund me the full amount, please? Now, we're talking $2 plus shipping, okay? Come on. Um, now, it, it, and we're talking... Four days has gone by at this point. Um, no reasonable seller should ever feel compelled to give a refund at this point. So I replied back, the package was shipped to the address that was supplied to us. I have seen strange things when it comes to USPS routing packages. However, this one is right up there. I can't explain, nor can I control this process. As for refunding, the way eBay policy works, when you file an item not received request, we have to send over a refund once there has been seven days without tracking activity. We cannot send a refund unless the package is lost per the eBay policy I have outlined above. I'm confident it'll arrive to you, just not sure why it's being handled the way it is. I'm hopeful as an ex-USPS employee, you can understand it is not within my control. And that was it. Okay, that was Sunday afternoon. So a little bit later, did you send the... Here comes the questions. Here comes the 20 questions. Okay, here comes the interrogation process. Did you send it media mail, Priority Express, or Priority Mail? I paid $449, not the usual $399 for shipping. Now, I use calculated media mail rates. Okay, so whatever it is, and across town, it should be the cheapest rate for like, I think it was eight ounces for this DVD movie. Um, so I replied back, the shipping policy used to ship was media mail, where we charge you the calculated rate based on what eBay charges us. Some sellers charge a flat rate. We charge the exact amount we pay eBay for the label. I know you're disappointed and so am I. However, we did nothing wrong here. So I'm trying to paint this picture. Look, you just gotta be patient. You're, you're coming at me with the question, you know, that, okay, fine. You're, you're almost like you're looking for, um, where, looking for fault in the seller, right? So he comes back. Um, did you print the address to a label or handwrite the address and ship it? Okay, now I'm rolling my eyes here. I'm like, this guy is really trying to find a fault in the seller so he can come back and say how I screwed it up. And I said, we sell, on, we sell on eBay professionally. We've sold over 3,000 items this year on eBay. And in every case, we have bought and shipped every label through eBay and print them out of our thermal label printer. I'm 100% certain the package will end up being delivered to you as there is no other address to send it to aside from the return address. Again, we did nothing wrong and what we see happening has nothing to do with what we did. I'm sorry this is happening, but please trust me when I say we did everything by the book here. So it's kind of damage control. Look, his 20 questions was pretty much to me that he doesn't trust that I did what I was supposed to do. Therefore, it was sent to Seattle, right? Uh, well, sent to LA, then sent to Seattle. And again, media mail, I've had people tell me that, you know, a package uh, will take its sweet time just to get across town. And this is an example of that. So today, you see it says today, he sends me a message. Now we're talking, um, it's Monday, it's uh, Tuesday morning. Um, about what, what time did he send it? He sent it at 8.20 a.m. This is absolutely ridiculous how this was handled by you. 
not professional at all. Now, guys, remember what I said to him. Did any of that sound unprofessional? Because to me, it sounded quite professional. In fact, most of you would argue that I spent too much time replying to this dude. Just like Jenna told me, I spent too much time replying to this dude. But I believe in good customer service and I have no problem, whether it's a $2 item or a $200 item, replying in a professional manner. So for this person to come back and say, this is absolutely ridiculous how this was handled by you, not professional at all. You never located this package once you could have done by calling. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever had experience with USPS, but you can't just call someone and then they, they reach over and say, oh, I found it. It doesn't work that way. Okay. They'll look at the tracking. They'll walk you through the tracking information and they'll tell you, you know, give it some time. And if it doesn't show up, then file a lost mail request, which I actually did. And I'll, I'll show you here in a second. But it says, I no longer want this package at all, which is BS. BS. Okay. This is his, this is a gift. Okay. This is his thought for somebody, $2. Now, I, I'll, t I'll tell you what I think about that in a second, but this is another false statement. I no longer want this package at all. I checked it last night and called the post office. It is super late. And, and, and okay, then if he could call someone at the post office, how come he didn't get his answer? Because obviously he can't get an answer by calling someone at the post office. It is super late and not being delivered for what I paid. I want my money back. I will be leaving this experience in the feedback in full detail with negative review. So, you know what? I, I don't mind. Go ahead and leave your negative feedback because this thing's going to be removed anyway once eBay sees that, you know what, this has nothing to do with what I did. It's out of my control. So I have no problem with that. The post office said it was scanned by its zip code and sent to the correct city. They have no idea why the zip code was scanned and sent to Washington. You obviously mislabeled the package. Now I will not receive this movie before my in-laws leave and I cannot give them their Christmas gift. We'll talk about that in a minute. You did not get this item ship sent to your buyer in time. It was posted for, like I told, told you, I work for the post office. I know what a seller can do to help their customer. And instead of helping me soy in-laws, probably my, I don't know, what kind of in-laws are that? My sad in-laws, my soy in-laws, can have their movie as surprise for Christmas. Wow, I'm surprised by that $2 movie. You rather quote eBay policies, I'll be returning this. I'm now forced to buy it off of Amazon and do a same day delivery today for even more money. I will not accept this package and write return to sender on it. So I was actually getting ready to make this video when this message came through. So these buyers, they are the, if you're a YouTuber, these buyers are the gift that keep on giving when it comes to content. I'll tell you that. So of course, okay, I've been professional up to this point. Now I'm to the point, and you've seen me talk about this on other messages, that I'm just going to say how it is. He's already made up his mind he's going to leave negative feedback anyway. I said, you are absolutely incredible. I took the time to respond to every message you sent in a timely manner, and I did so in a very friendly way, only to be called unprofessional by you. You keep saying how you used to, to work for USPS, and if, you, uh, if, you, if so, you would know the simple fact. If you call a rep on the phone, they will only be able to state what the tracking shows, and they have no more information than that. One can only open a package search via USPS.com, which I did, and I get the attached screenshot, which I'll show you right here. This is due to the fact that we only shipped the item six days ago on the 14th, and it is too soon to open such a request. If you actually worked at USPS for any amount of time, you would absolutely know how inefficient they are with these things. If you look at tracking, you'll see it is on the way back towards your address and is obviously misrouted by them. I wouldn't be surprised if it shows up tomorrow or Wednesday and I can 100% guarantee you it was labeled properly and you will find out when it arrives. Go ahead and do what you need to do with negative feedback as we have done nothing wrong in this case and eBay will see that we've tried to communicate with you despite your accusations towards me, which you will find out once the package arrives. Not only was it mailed the very next day after you paid, but it was also sent to your address. How else would you be able to do a return to sender if the address was wrong? As an FYI, if you choose to do a return to sender, once the package arrives, you will only receive a refund for the purchase price of the item and as the shipping is non-refundable. 
And I, then I put, at this point, please only contact eBay about the, the transaction as there's nothing more than I can do for you. Have a nice day. And I gave him a little uh, uh, copy of the screenshot I just showed you about the error message I received for filing the lost mail request. So what do you guys think? Of course, comment down below. I want to know your thoughts on this. But first of all, I wasn't unprofessional at all. All right. I was right there with the buyer, uh, providing some empathy, providing some explanation as to what I'm able to do and what I'm not able to do and to help build that customer's expectation because obviously they have a false expectation that I can do anything in this situation to remedy this particular problem. So based on my own experience with customer service, my replies did come off as long-winded and I'm sure to many of you saying that I gave this person too much time. First of all, it doesn't take a whole lot of time when you're on your phone and you do the, the, uh, the uh, voice recognition where you're talking into your phone and it just basically does the text, uh, the, the, the voice to text typing. So that's not a problem for me. And it didn't take very long to interact with this buyer and send the messages off. So I have no problems at all with what I said here and how I said it. I was very professional with my messages to this buyer. And this buyer basically even said that they weren't mad at the beginning, right? As you guys remember, and they worked themselves up because every day that passed where the package was being rerouted, it was routed to Los Angeles, then it was rerouted, routed to Seattle, and then it was routed back to LA before this person even sent the message. So I'm sure they saw that, okay? In their mind, they didn't get the last DVD they bought, which wasn't from me, okay? So they figured that this is going to be the same thing and going to play out the same way, okay? So they took that bad experience out on me and they let this in their mind they let this situation snowball now I can tell you they're gonna get this darn DVD okay first of all it's gonna arrive it's gonna arrive probably by Wednesday I'm making this video on Tuesday so it's in LA as of this morning making this video it'll be there probably tomorrow and now this person needed it on Friday, right? That's when they first initially said, I needed it on Friday. And then now they basically have to do a same day and pay double. Now let's go back to, to that. This is for their in-laws. Now, okay, let me just say this, and I'm not trying to judge here, okay? Everyone has their own situations, you know, and if you're in a financial situation where you can't afford Christmas, God bless you, but at the same time, it's probably not worth this aggravation. First of all, if your family or your in-laws know your situation, let them know, look, I can't afford Christmas this year. But to say or to insinuate that this is such a big deal, your $2 DVD, okay, that you're now going to have to pay extra for on Amazon because you can't wait. Now it's a Christmas gift and we're talking right now, it's the 20th of December, okay? We still have some days before Christmas. And uh, I don't know the situation. I don't know if they're traveling somewhere. But what does that say to uh, the in-laws that uh, here's your grand Christmas present, Pops. And uh, he opens it up to his $2 DVD. And to me, I mean, they're getting worked up over a $2 DVD. Now, to some of you, you guys would say, hey, why don't you just give him his money back? Why don't you just give him his money back? Would you feel the same way on a $200 item? So I, I guess I've had this conversation with many of you guys before. Where's your line? Is it $5? Is it $10? Is it $20? Is it $50? If you think that I should have given this person his $6.66 back, you know, upon what, the first complaint? the second message back, um, or maybe on the third message, four days after I mailed it, asking for a refund because they didn't believe it was going to get there, okay? So is it then you decide to give a refund, and how much? If it was a $50 item, is that the price that you would draw, uh, draw a line? To me, there is no price. As sellers, if you've done nothing wrong, if you followed eBay's processes to the T, then you should, as a seller, Hold your ground, hold your ground. And you know what? eBay has seller protection. There is no 
no risk at all in this case for me to stand my ground in a professional manner, which I did now up into the last message. And I don't think even then I was unprofessional. I was more to the point. But if he wants to leave his negative feedback, he can, okay? But eBay is going to see that I had no control over this and I did everything within my power. This guy was unreasonable. You're gonna have buyers out there who wait weeks before they get nasty. This guy didn't even wait a week. So he has no grounds to stand on. And as a seller, I don't care what the price is, okay? If I've done something wrong, then that's a different story. I'll, you know, maybe I made a mistake. I sent the, uh, maybe I sent this in the wrong package and threw the wrong label on it. That's one thing, but that didn't happen here. USPS routed this thing out of my control up to Seattle. They realized the error of their ways and then they're sending it back to LA and it'll eventually get back to the buyer. More of the story is this, guys. Uh, I'm going to keep using USPS, you know, like we've had for forever. I'm going to still use Media Mail because it is a very efficient and cost effective way to ship your media versus first class and when you have multiple items versus priority mail. So I'm going to continue to use the service. Unfortunately, you have buyers that wait until 12 days before Christmas and they expect it to work out perfectly every time. And if this person would have had more um, forethought to go on and buy this item ahead of time, that precious $2 gift would be in their hands by now. And so I don't know what the solution is. Is the solution to stop selling middle part of December on? I mean, for some that is. For me, no, because the sales are still decent. Um, but yeah, just know guys that buyers, if you have items that you've shipped out recently or even are getting orders for today, maybe even tomorrow, people are going to expect more than what you can deliver and just be prepared for these buyers to come out of the woodwork, not for every seller, maybe you're lucky this year, but for others, we're gonna to have to deal with people like this and uh, all I got to say is just get ready, get ready for it. So do me a favor, hit that like button. If you enjoyed the content of the video, of course, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate that. And of course, hit that notification bell. So when I make a video or go live, you get to be notified when that happens. Buyers like this, I call them bad buyers um, because they don't know how to handle themselves. They don't know how to just understand that sometimes things happen and when they fail to understand that sometimes things happen they come looking to blame someone they're looking for answers in their mind and the only conclusion that they draw is that it somehow has to be your fault but this is yet another example of how sometimes flipping ain't easy and I want you guys to have an excellent rest of your day and we will talk to you very soon.